Hi guys, this is Jessica Simpson with Lola Loops and Stitches, hoping you learn faster in the crochet world. In this channel, I offer tutorials, reviews, and many more. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget to click the bell button right next to it so you don't miss anything. And at any point in this video, check out notes and links in the description below where I added some links and bonuses. Now let's get started. For demonstration purposes, all I'm using in this video is a Susan Bates crochet hook, 5 millimeter, and some spare lightweight yarn. When you are first getting started with crochet, figuring out the proper way to hold the yarn can be a little confusing, but it doesn't have to be that way. I am going to show you one simple way to hold the yarn that will provide plenty of control while crocheting. There are many ways to hold the yarn. I personally highly recommend you to try the basic yarn hold first and then feel free to personalize your hold using what feels most comfortable for you. Let's start by flattening your palm and straighten your fingers. Your fingers should be spread out slightly so that you can easily feed the yarn in between a couple of them, okay? It should be about 0.25 to 0.5 inches in between your fingertips. Um, you can also curve your fingers after you get the yarn position between them if, if this feels more natural to you. Okay, grasp the end of the yarn with the index finger and thumb of your dominant hand. Bring the strand up between your pinky and ring finger from below your hand. Some people prefer to thread the yarn between their ring finger and middle finger instead of their pinky and ring finger. Use the option that feels most comfortable for you. Keep pulling the strand to bring it across the top of your hand. Pull it so that there are at least six inches of yarn extending past the edge of your index finger. As you crochet, keep in mind that you can spread your fingers to provide more slack in your working yarn or you can close them to create more tension. Open and close your fingers as needed to loosen and tighten your hold on the working yarn. Okay? When you open, it creates less tension and when you close it, it creates more tension. Every pattern is different. You are going to discover that some patterns are going to ask you to have to crochet loose chains. And when it's loose chains, that means that it's less tension, okay? So that will be opening your hand and um, spreading your fingers. Or when it's more tension because it's going to be tight, then you have to close them, okay? Now I'm going to show you how I do personally. I cannot do it this way because for some reason when I'm crocheting this way, it goes, I don't know. I now I'm going to show you the way I hold the yarn to crochet, okay? I do it this way because it make me hold the yarn a little bit more secure and it also helped me to achieve more tension if needed. Remember I said that some patterns ask you for more tension or less tension while completing some stitches or specifically the foundation chain okay so the way i do is i wrap the yarn under my hand going up between the pinky and the ring finger okay and i follow the steps that i said before that i mentioned before in the basic one so i wrap my pinky with the yarn I take, I um, go across my ring, my middle finger on my index, and then I hold the end with my middle finger and my thumb. So it looks like this, rock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love rock, so this is how it looks, okay? It's different, different than this way. You see this way is different. You see this way, it's different. I do a little different. Why? Because like I said, it gives me a little bit more I feel more secure when I'm doing it this way. Let's put it that way, okay? Some people wrap their pinky, but they also wrap the index finger as well, okay? 
and it creates tension. I do it sometimes, all depends the pattern. There's some way I do as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do it in action. I'm going to do a slip knot, and as I'm doing this slip knot, I want to tell you that if you go below this video and under description, I added some videos for you to learn how to do a slip knot, how to hold a crochet hook, how to make a foundation chain, and many more, okay? Um, I hope um, these videos can teach you something, right? Um, I try my best, so one thing that I would like to appre I will appreciate from you is to make comments and give me some feedbacks, okay? It's with you that I'm going to learn. Without you, um, nothing here, to be honest. Okay, so I have my crochet hook and my yarn, and I'm going to wrap the yarn between my pinky, taking across my three fingers on the top of my palm, hold it with my middle finger and my thumb, okay? And I'm going to start my foundation chain. If you see, this has more tension. Now, if I open my hands like this, he releases more, release more of the yarn, okay? And he creates a little less tension. Like I said, some patterns I'm going to ask you to create chains or stitches with less tension, and that's when you need to open or spread your fingers okay so if you see it's less tension and this has more tension you see now I'm going to create more tension so you see the difference okay I'm closing it here it's close see my hand is close now I'm going to spread you see spreading streaky okay and this is how it goes again there are many ways to hold your yarn experiment with different methods until you find what is most comfortable for you is this video added any value in your crochet journey go ahead again and I repeat make a comment show me feedbacks you can message me with anything that you would like to learn in the future and I will try my best stay tuned subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button thank you check notes below the description for more don't forget to like and share this video your comment will be highly appreciated Follow Lola Loops and Stitches on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.